why did I start a YouTube channel? I guess that would be a better way to think about it, wouldn't it? That's what I wanted to do this video on was why I started my channel. So my channel is a little different. I don't have a big channel or anything like that. The channel was more put out for why I put it out was so that I could leave my mark, have a kid that would have to grow up in this world and I wanted to at least try to do something. I felt like I was led by the Most High and he spoke to me and said you can just leave this world and not do anything. We could be hit by an electromagnetic pulse and our internet could go down. You know, it could be taken out or something and all this stuff will be there forever. I mean, it doesn't go away. The NSA has all of it, the recordings, text messages, emails, all of it. You know, how do you live your life? What do you live for? What laws are you going by? So, this video is going to be more for probably not the people of this world. You ever felt different? Like you weren't like everybody else? No. This video is going to probably speak to you more than people of, people of this world. So, first of all, we're not supposed to love our lives, so if you understand that then you probably understand this video if you don't understand that then you probably haven't read the book um, I don't go to church I think church is evil I've done my homework and found out all the manipulation my channel is called truth viral and I think about it sometimes and it's just the truth really go viral <laughs> I know a lot of other crap goes viral do people even know what the truth is anymore again I put this channel out because the world is changing very fast and I thought maybe I could document it before it got too out of control a little bit give my opinion and again stand up against the things that I saw that were untruthful and not correct not truthful I always told people to use discernment on my channel to say that I was you know some false prophet whatever you want to call it I apologize I don't know my fan kicks on and off on this computer so you were gonna hear that in the background Again, this isn't so much about all the bells and whistles of what's more important, the content of what I'm telling you. So, again, this video is going to be, I don't write out anything. I've done that a couple times before on my channel, but I more of always just spoke from my heart. That's how I do my videos. I always just speak from my heart. I don't live a life where I'm trying to appease anybody so I'm not so concerned about viewers or if I get viewers or how many I have or I wish more people would comment in the comment section just so I can interact with people you know I'm not gonna pay attention to any trolls you do have the chance to look through your messages so you can not put messages I haven't really left anything off unless it was just outright just not anything to do with what I'm talking about people always have their opinions so I'm really not caring so much about opinion in my life as more of I care about the facts so this video is just from the heart it's how I feel it's it's more of again why I made this channel because I don't think people are really finding out the truth 
I don't think they care about the truth anymore. People will just accept about anything that they're told. And they don't dig deep into anything. So I'm just not understanding how, you know, 40 years ago, people didn't have the internet. So they probably are not going to be as accountable when the Most High judges them. But this day and age, you are accountable for what you put in your search bar. Because not only is the NSA watching, but the Most High watches you. I've said that several times. It matters what you put in your search bar. You could look up anything these days. You could look up anything. You could live a, a, a life of virtual reality right through your computer. You go anywhere in the world, connect through Skype and all these. It's incredible. But, you know, what are you really doing with your with your Google search bar or whatever search engine you're using. See, I think it matters. So, again, that's why I made a YouTube channel was that I know people are going to call me crazy and not agree with me, but again, I'm not speaking to those people. Just like in the end, it's going to come down to I'm going to try to change this channel up a little bit because I'm more concerned right now as I see things is the time is very short. We have a an election coming up supposedly that is going, we're going to get have another president after you know what seven and a half years. Of, you know how about twelve hundred sixty two or twelve hundred sixty days and forty two months? That's what I'm paying attention to. That's what I'm looking at. So again, that's why I think the time is short. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, then again, it's more of what, you know, there's been talk before that there's been antichrist in this world. And I don't agree, disagree that, you know, what is antichrist? That's anything against Christ. Think about it. So if you don't believe in Christ, the Mashiach, the Messiah, Yahushua, Hamashiach, the Messiah, then you're Antichrist, you know, and I'm not speaking to you. There is an elect amount of people on this planet they are going to go. You know, they say, it says there, again, I, you know, I'm not one of these people who sits down and reads the Bible every day. I just don't, I don't do it. I know I'm going to be accountable for that, but I have, I've read it, not from front to back, but I've read it throughout many a times this passage that I'm really intrigued by revelations and I, I and I, I'm knowing now that is because I live in that time I saw it happen the little horn of the Bible is Obama that's the Antichrist the little horn and there's two Antichrists in the Bible so that would be the Pope so I don't think people have realized that have discovered that yet but you know everybody has their opinion again but this isn't about opinion so you can do your own research you can I'm not here to impress anybody I'm here to basically this is <laughs> I don't have a whole lot more time to make videos if you look at this look at our son go on solar ham and look at our son today Look at the corona hole that's coming around. Look at the huge sunspot that's coming around. Even if it's just the sun that takes us out sooner or later we're with our weakening magnetosphere. YouTube, come on now. Again, I've said in almost every video that I make, even if I touch one person, that's it. That's not all that matters to me. You know, again, it's more about leaving my mark before this thing is all done. And if they come get me, then, yeah, right. I've got the most high protecting me. You know, I, I don't not live in fear. I don't live in the reality some people think with their head in the sand. You know. The reason why I said that there's other people who said there's been Antichrist like Hitler and stuff, but did Hitler stand in the birthplace of the Messiah, you know, and not kneel and not 
even acknowledge just outright well Obama did and did this did, you know the daily sacrifice sacrifice stop you know pass over that stop because that's when the 42 months start and that's already happened that happened May 22nd of 2013 so if you had 1260 days to that day you come up with October 3rd of 2016 so you tell me you got a bunch of time to just live your life like you know go buy another big screen TV why don't you add another addition to your house or something you know the days of Noah people were just partying and getting on and told people no told no he was a fool we are in almost in the days of Noah I know that because in the days of Noah there were giants walking this earth and things like that and so that's what's coming very soon and people have no idea if you tell them that they tell you you're crazy government found out they probably lock you in a padded room right for just telling the truth giants used to walk this earth fallen angels come on what do you know anything about these things you question anything so I don't know how long this video is gonna go on for I'm just gonna speak a little bit more I'll just try to chop it up I guess into sections and speak how I feel because again if you do the math that I just told you that means you know why did the Queen say there'd be no Christmas why would it be no pagan Christ the Messiah was not born on December 25th almost every pagan deity almost every pagan God Nimrod Tammuz do you know those names they were born on December 25th so <laughs> you know why would the Queen say there's not going to be a Christmas did you see Obama's last dinner speech why did he say that the last presidential you know his last presidential if not the last presidential dinner they're putting it right out there in our faces and you don't even see it you know I see it as a bunch of false stuff too again have you watched a Super Bowl halftime commercial have you watched it have you watched any commercials now they put it in almost every commercial because they have control of all the media so unless you watch alternative media that's all you're getting is just blasted with antichrist pagan sun worship Easter none of this is reality folks this has all been changed and was changed for thousands of years now it's just basically still Rome if you think about it so I don't know if there's any of this is getting your attention I have so much locked inside my head that I could you know just because of the knowledge and knowledge is power so I know what us people elect people the people who have paid attention and figured out who the Messiah is and who he is not please I tell you now and I pray for people it's time to come out of New Babylon it's time to come out of that mystery religion Christianity that they talk about you know this is the war that they're making that it does speak about Albert Pike the third world war the rise of Islam you see it happening right before your eyes have you paid attention what's going on over in Europe what they've done over there people don't think it's gonna happen over here you know what I'm just gonna put it out there that I know they're doing the same thing here but you know why you don't see it because they fly them in on airplanes in the middle of the nighttime and all these crazy tinfoil hat wearing people that say there's FEMA camps right wake up <laughs> wake up that's where they're going they've got these things going 24 hours a day seven days a week you can't even see these people are all in under the cover of darkness and that's when they'll come you know he says you're gonna come like a thief in the night but if not if you're prepared not if your eyes are open and not if you're elect 
of the elect. If you know who the true Messiah is. Did you know that there's no J in the Hebrew language? You probably do if you've watched my a video or two of, of mine. You understand where I'm going with this. What does that mean about the name of the Messiah if there's no J? Because he spoke Hebrew and he was a Hebrew Israelite. That's right. He spoke Hebrew. He didn't speak American English. How about that? Speak American. That's what language that we have now. The new Babylonian religion. American. Almost every name that you search and you go back, if you search, there's history to almost everything. Even like as simple as the things you've seen all your life. If you flip a dollar bill around, you see the, you know, the all-seeing eye over the top of the triangle. Again, Super, ha Super Bowl halftime shows, those are just rituals now. They're telling you and they're displaying in all of these commercials that it's you know, it's revelations, not revelation. There wasn't, when, people didn't even realize that too. How about the book of revelations with an S, not revelation. How many revelations are there in the book of revelations? People are so brainwashed these days. You know what? I feel bad. The food, people don't even take care of their bodies. The key, you know, to, to being healthy is nutrition and they've just robbed us with it robbed us completely the food at almost all the grocery stores is just loaded with things that inhibit your body that's what they do it inhibit these are all inhibitors like drugs inhibit things in your brain that cut off things that cause different effects it's what most things are in life but you know I say this it sometimes matters in life what you don't do. Some people are so confused and worried in life about what they're doing. You know, a lot of the times in life it matters what you don't do. That's activism. Don't participate. But people just keep participating in it and going on. Like, I think again, just from my opinion, nothing written down here. You want to fuel this fire Christmas every year. They have this pagan holiday that fuels this thing for the whole year. But actually, if you come to find out, we just went through, you know, their strongest time of year through the beginning. Of, we just came, you know, May 1st was the end of it from the, was it the April 23rd? I don't even know. I don't, you know, I don't participate in any of that Satanistic, you know, but the funny thing is now is they've got this thing they call Luciferian where they mask themselves as light. They've got all your children fooled. You don't think so? Why does every one of these cartoons that are on TV predict all of these events that are going to happen? You ever seen the book of the Illuminati, uh, Illuminati card game? I mean, there's so much out there. This isn't, this is tr truth, you know, truth viral, right? not conspiracy people are so asleep right now and you know what it's so close to the end of times it's not he's gonna judge everybody everybody's around judging everybody when it even says that in the book you know I'm being judgmental towards people that aren't paying attention but I just want them to wake up I care about people that's why I made this channel is because I really give a shit I do you know, I care about what happens to people, other people's kids and their future, even if they're too asleep in their own world to even realize what's going on. Why am I worried about that? The Most High has the innocent covered, right? I don't know. We're just supposed to have a heart for those type of things. People have just become so heartless these days. It's just amazing. You see videos of people, I don't know, I had something because I was on the end. You know how it clicks stuff to, you know. I don't know how half this stuff shows up on your, your you know, your search, your YouTube, whatever you're coming up. That's, I got a kid who looks at a lot of this crap too, so that might be, you know. But some woman getting her 
ass just beat handed to her in the middle of the street not by the cop okay but by some guy and there's people just standing around filming and just nobody goes over and helps this lady that is disgusting you know in the end times again I you don't believe me we're in end times I'm gonna say this and this you know what if it offends you I don't really care transgender bathrooms Obama just made a you know I don't know if it was a federal regulation that he changed I don't think he I don't think it was by executive order but transgender bathrooms in all the public schools next year we're almost to the end of the year so obviously we're not going to see that but does that not show you the times that we're living in transgender bathrooms see they started it out with the adults but I knew all along this is focused at the kids man this is to confuse the children asking young kids you know what do you feel like a boy or a girl what do you mean that is crazy you know what it really is about the youth I really care about these kids because I thought we had a future but I realize now that our future is not what people are believing right now the weather modification do you know anything about a binary star system binary solar systems you know anything they've announced that there's in the, in the actual lamestream media they've announced that we have other planets in our solar system you know how awake are you I've tried to warn people to watch the sun you know there's a lot to do with our weather and I think I figured something out I'm gonna put this I'm not gonna put it out on this channel yet because some things just kinda come to me as I put the dots together I have an investigative nature and an investigative background in my history so I can't help but pay attention to detail prior military that's you know depends on what MOS you are but I, I would hope you know that every military skill identifier would have gotten taught attention to detail but not everybody listens so again if you pay attention to the details 1260 days from May 22nd 2013 only puts October 3rd right around the corner as fast as time goes now look at the earthquakes all over the planet I mean do you look into any of these things how many freaking volcanoes are chooching huh stove piping right out the freaking we got more volcanoes going off if you look into what volcanism is that always happens before an ice age I put that out before the coming ice age are you aware of that what does that mean you know I have so much information on anything I say I could if I sat down with somebody one-on-one -on -one, I can give them hours and days and talk about each subject and just smash you with information I don't have time to do that you know because I've done a lot of research the most high has allowed me to do this I've been very lucky in this world and very fortunate which is not great because you're not supposed to be of this world you're not supposed to be worried about this world I have put that out before on a video before too. afterlife insurance you know I'm more concerned on what happens after I die than anything that happens in this world even if my flesh gets weak and can't stand the pain whatever happens in this world I really need to keep my eye on you know my eyes open so that he can show me the way because that's how I live I live in the most high I'm gonna put this out one of the most important things if not and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna end it on this okay because I don't want to make this too super long but this is probably I'm not a prophet I am a watcher I'm watching it I'm watching what's going on okay I really am I'm watching exactly I see exactly the times we're living in 
And if you don't, I apologize, but I'm not speaking to you because it's one of two ways. Either going with him or you're getting thrown in the lake of fire. So I don't really have any, you know, again, I've been out there fishing for, for his elect people to come to him, trying to. So again, this isn't prophecy. This is just somebody paying attention to detail, putting the dots together. But there were ten virgins, if you remember in the, in the book. There were ten, but only five of them were wise. Only five of them got to go out and be and see and meet the bridegroom. That's what I'm concerned about. To go to the Feast of the Lambs and to be with the bridegroom. Hallelujah. Okay? So when he comes back, here it is. Listen up, because this is the meat of the whole thing. This is really, I don't have the secrets to life. Again, I'm going to talk about that in the next video. Kind of what I think his plan was. Okay? Because it's definitely not going in that direction. But it kind of is, if you look at Revelation. So I want to talk about that. But here it is. I've got to get this thing ended. The second coming. The day of the Lord. The sixth trumpet. When he returns, when the Messiah, Yahushua Hamashiach, the Messiah, returns, Jesus, as most people call him, on this planet, okay, well, in America, okay, when he returns, and he will return, when he comes back, he's going to look you in your eyes. Is he going to see himself in you? That's what he's looking for. That's how you need to live your life. Because that's what I believe above all things. Yahushua is the only way to Yahuwah. Elohim, the Father. Okay? So when he returns and he looks into your eyes, will he see himself in you? Okay? That's what I see is the most important thing that you should be focused in your life on right now. Get your stuff in order. You're supposed to trim off those things in your life. Be like the five wide, five wise virgins that got to go out and see the bridegroom. They trimmed off those things in their life that were not making him happy. In time, lots. the whole life is a parable, isn't it? The whole Bible is parable. Okay? Be careful about what you believe and what you don't believe. You have to use discernment. But I know what I told you. You don't have to have anything else. Me and you talking about the Most High is church. So, talking about the Messiah. That is church. So, it doesn't you don't have to go to church to get to heaven. You don't have to go to church to be at the right hand of the Father. Again, I promise you. I am no prophet. But when he comes back, that's what he's looking for. Those are the people, you know, they say, it says in the book, it's easier to fit a camel through the eye of a needle than it is a rich man into the gates of heaven. Some of this stuff's a little crude that I tell you, but I know what I'm, what I'm saying here. And you do too, if you're in the Most High. So if you're with the elect, you are with the house of David, you come... Of one of the 12 tribes that he scattered across the nations he's gonna bring us back together we will be with the Messiah again because the last time we were with him was in the Garden of Eden and we were evil and we were cast out of heaven because we ate from the tree of knowledge right so Please be careful about what you're putting into your brain and what you're putting into your search bar. It really matters to him. It matters to me. Okay? You can like. You can subscribe. Please comment. If you disagree, agree. I'm hoping that, again, I'm going to try to just change this channel up. I just rather speak from my heart. There's so much information. I can't drown people with information anymore. It really doesn't matter, does it? What I'm talking about matters to me. This is all I worry about. Of course, I live my life every single day and I go on. I have three dogs and a child. I'm a single father. 
and I don't get any, you know, any special kind of extra help or anything like that. You know, I live off of what I do, you know, kind of by the sweat of my brow. But I'm a little smarter than that. I, I you know, I work smart, not hard. But again, that's not what this is about. But I'm still doing something, okay? I'm still trying to put videos out because I want people to, I want people to come to Christ before it's too late. You get to be fooled. There's so much other things that I can talk about in the videos about how I think they're going to try to fool you with the spraying and the chemicals to these incoming planets to the history in the past, Anunnaki, Fallen Angels. Man, I could go on for days. So if you you can leave a comment. If you want to try to get some more information out, me, you can try to, you know, leave more a personal comment. I'll try to message somebody back. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. But again, one last time, because it's really powerful. You know, when he returns, please, I hope he sees himself in you. Because it's a small number of people when you think about it. That's why the number is the 144,000. The elect is such a small number of people because there's not too many people that are privileged to this information. But again, you have a search engine and that's why he's going to hold you accountable. So I pray in the name of the Most High, in the name of the Mashiach, Yahushua, will he see himself in you.